Uh, welcome to Frank's School, 105th day of this fourth year. I'm going on with the Kings and Queens of Britain, uh, brought to us by Alan Herrera. And I'd ask you in the second episode to start at this 27th minute and go to the end. And wow, it is a lot. Uh, this goes so fast and there is so much. But, you know, uh, that's in six, in six hours. Uh, well, I, I'm, I'm just going to mention some things, write them down, and maybe it'll help you sort it out a little bit. Shakespeare's plays, I have them down here. Well, uh, we begin to hit them. He did write a play, King John, but nobody really reads it much at all. But uh, Richard II, uh, yes, a very famous play. Henry IV, parts one and two. I haven't read them. I, I studied this. Uh, it's not a favorite of mine. I haven't actually read these, but I understand they're very, very good. Uh, Henry V, uh, quite quite famous, made popular fairly recently by the Kenneth Branagh's portrayal. Um, and the Battle of Agincourt is uh, so important in that. All right, uh, another thing, uh, since I've got this up here, I'll just put it there. <clears throat> Meanwhile, in Portugal, what's going on? And, uh, you know, I, I, I haven't forgotten Portugal. Uh, I had said I'm going to also be looking at what's going on in the rest of Europe. There was a crisis during these years. Uh, of their own independence, but that was kind of beside the point. Now, public show. Uh, uh, at the death of his queen, one of these guys, I, I think it was Edward III, put on this big show, and uh, it's growing. And nationalism is growing, uh, too. It's being nurtured, and it's growing. And I think I'll say more about that over here in, in just a moment. But let me just run down through there. Here are the kings. Uh, I think I've got them all in order. Uh, as he goes through these kings and showing, of course, how they're related and all that, the Hundred Years' War, he'll talk about it, uh, ultimately lost by England in Castillon in, uh, in uh, France. The Black Death uh, strikes about 13, 1348 is the year uh, that I use in my mind. It was unbelievable. You know, I, I had, in, earlier in another show, I talked about the casualties of World War II, a staggering 55 million people, total casualties of World War II, uh, staggering. But the Black Death, I think the low estimate is 60 million or 65 million that died because of the Black Death. And at that time, remember, the population of the world, the human population of the world was, was so much smaller. It was really, it was just staggering. It reduced the workforce. I didn't write this on there. There were there weren't very many people, or weren't nearly as many people around to do the work. I, uh, I think England's population had dropped by one and a half uh, by the time it was over. Well, the peasant result, the peasant revolt uh, was a uh, partially probably a result of that. This was in 1381, uh, and uh, you know he quotes at one point. I earlier I'd said I'd I'd gotten interested in peasant revolts. I'd looked that up and studied it. They they basically always failed. Uh, but this this is the quote he says: When Adam delves delves means dig, and Eve span pa old fashioned uh, uh, past tense of spin. Uh, who was then the gentleman? <laughs> in other words, at creation you didn't have to have gentlemen. It was really against nobility, but it failed. Uh, and, you know, it's int so interesting to hear him tell what happened. Gory stuff. Uh, uh, but Agincourt, I mentioned it. Poitiers, I don't know exactly where it fits in there, but that's uh, that was one of the uh, r remarkable battles uh, in the uh, Hundred Years' War. Uh, Gunpowder <coughs> gets, in, uh, not invented, it, it's brought, I think, from China, but it arrives in Europe around this time, and, of course, it changes warfare completely. No sense in wearing that heavy armor anymore. Joan of Arc, uh, you know, these are names that fire the imagination. People know about these. Uh, you'll hear them mentioned. Now, the Order of the Garter. I, I went by and I, did, I thought, oh, that's interesting. But then I thought more about that later. And I've begun to think a good bit about that. This list right here, <clears throat> I've begun to think about, you know, I should have included this. Why, why do people fight wars? <laughs> a huge old question, I suppose. Why? Uh, you know, what's what's in it? Why do they do that? Uh, I, I mean, I understand that people have arguments all the time. I mean, that's just human nature. But how does it get expanded to an entire war where a country fights another country? 
Well, uh, you know, I think public show and nationalism are a lot of it, and image and flags. He, you know, he, he mentions at one point, uh, I, I think, that, that now, well, the portraits, are, they've begun to make uh, portraits, and they have emblems, symbols, like the War of the Roses. There was a white rose and a red rose. Uh, you know, did I even mention that? I didn't even write that down. But, but uh, here at Lancaster, <coughs> the winner ultimately was of the House of Lancaster, Lancaster versus York. Uh, but those two emblems, the two roses, fighting <coughs> under an image, an agus, is that the word? Oh, whoops. Uh, agus? <laughs> I'm not sure the Roman word. I mean, the Romans had a standard. The Christians have a cross. Um, but it becomes worth fighting and dying for. I don't know. You know, I, I'm i puzzled. I, I can see fighting out of fear, like fear of the barbarian sweeping through. And maybe that gets expend, extended up to fear of, of this, en this enemy that, that has been, I don't know, this opposing camp. Power, I think so much of it, boy, back at this time, has to do with power. Who is going to have the power to control things? And not just in a family, not just in a town, but in a country. Struggles for power. I, I just don't uh, you relate to it well. Now, inheritance is wrapped up in that. You know, who's going to inherit the throne? Who's going to inherit the property? And again, at a local level, it's... There's just no doubt about it. I mean, it, it's a human, it's, it's, it's a factor there just basically all the time. Who gets what you want what. But, you know, it's more than hunger. You know, notice I didn't list hunger on this. Uh, I don't know, I, I'm puzzling over it. But an interesting connection for me is I think about children, you know when they play on football teams, or when they go to public schools and the school has it, like here in Bedford, it's the Bedford Bisons against what, the, the, the Heinemann Hornets, I think it is, or the, I, I never paid very much attention to it because I really didn't care. Uh, you know, I, I think I fell through the cracks that way. Uh, the, those images don't, don't work for me. Uh, but children, from the very start, are encouraged to this. You know, and the Steelers, this is Steeler country, supposedly. Uh, you know, Western Pennsylvania, the Pittsburgh Steelers, the football team. Uh, you know, and everybody wears Steelers shirts and stuff. And, I, and I'd said that earlier when I was talking about what, what can you do in a decentralist way. And I said, well, well turn your t-shirts inside out. Don't, don't go around advertising larger things. Uh, you know, I, I, I hope I'm not just completely stumbling here, but I'm struggling with this idea of what gets such vast centralized structures fighting against each other. You know, and, and it's not just the United States. I think of Europe and and the, um, you know, the, the riots over the football teams, you know, which football team is going to win the World Cup, you know, Germany, Argentina, <clears throat> and, and people care so passionately about it, and they spend so much money. In the United States, you know, it's, uh, it's the Super Bowl, they'll fly, they'll spend, I don't know, $10,000 on a weekend maybe to fly to some place and have a hotel and a ticket and all that. Why? Because of under this emblem? I, it doesn't work for me. I, I just don't understand it. And as I say, maybe I fell through the cracks. I, th I think a little bit of St. Francis of Assisi, I think it was similar for him too. He, he just didn't, didn't see that. It, it didn't work. Uh, well, I, you know, I may, I may come, uh, uh, no doubt, I'll, I'll come more back more to that because there certainly was a, a lot, there have been a lot of wars and a lot of people die fighting for causes. Uh, not, not, you know, another thing I didn't put on here is defending your children or your family. Uh, I don't know. Uh, you know, I, it's one of those things I said, this is just going to be a backbone for me. And I'm thinking about all these other things going on uh, meantime. All right, well, I'd probably this has been a little ragged, but maybe it's given you some stuff to think about. See you uh, next time. Well, I guess next episode, we're going to go on to episode three. Bye for now.